If you grew up with an old beat up car and you see it and you know it, it there's a mystique about it. Ever since I was a kid, I was, you know, there's a fascination with old stuff. To get it to work, to get from point A to point B, back to point A, it's a mission. You know what I mean? There's something about that that a lot of people do not experience. I'm John Edwards from Westminster, California. I like old choppers and old hot rods. The old stuff is, is you know, it'll never change the feelings of it. You see something old and it's like, wow, what, did, what was the story that that thing had? You know, it's 70 years old and it's still running, 80 years old, still running. This new stuff is disposable. Forget about it. The custom cars, custom motorcycles, like you see it, it's, it's artwork. It's each person's individual idea. I worked in a body shop prepping and primering and jamming cars and amongst working on my other cars, I wanted, you know, I can't afford anyway. So I taught myself how to do all that stuff. You know, you need a lot of trials and errors. You burn through something, you gotta start over. You drop it, you gotta learn how to repair it. So going from that to the painting, that's what I do for a living. The first bike that I bought was a 67 Triumph Bonneville in a rigid frame. My teeth were probably rattling out of my skull on that thing, you know? Mike Davis asked me if I wanted to be one of the builders for the Born Free, and I, yeah, sure. At first I was a little reluctant, and then I figured, you know what, why not? That'll give me motivation to get a bike together. The very first one that they did, and I had finished the Lavender Panhead, that bike got best in show. This bike, I was collecting the parts, you know, as a someday project. The motor originally I bought from a world famous pinstriper named the Harpoon. The frame and transmission, I bought a pile of parts. It came with a couple frames, motor, tranny, tanks, fenders. So basically out of that pile, I kept the frame and the transmission. I painted the bike, I just took some paint and started adding some yellow toner to it and got the color that I want. Normally I don't like anything on my, I just like the color and that's it. Um, but this one I was like, ah, maybe do some pinstriping or something. I was talking to a buddy of mine and he goes, dude, you should have Tom Kelly do it. Tom Kelly's, dude, that guy's one of the last of the OG guys. Called him and asked him if he was interested in doing some pinstriping and I think Tom was like 80 years old, 67 years of pinstriping. And I left, I left it there, came back, and this is what I got. If you, if you have confidence in someone that you can leave it there with them, you know you're gonna get, you're gonna be happy with what you get.